Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be going through another one of my single eyeshadow drawers. Um, this one has some singles as well as some palettes. I'm not gonna go over the palettes in this drawer just because that's for another video. If you missed my last single eyeshadow drawer declutter, I will link it above. So in this drawer I have some like creams and also some powder shadows. So I wanna go through these. So I had swatched this one already. It's by e.l.f. It's a smudge pot and it's called Cruisin' Chic. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. It's still creamy. I swatched it on my hand here. Um, that one's a maybe. I might keep that one just because it has survived. <laughs> it's not dried out or anything, so I'm gonna put this aside. It's a maybe. Okay, so I know I wanna get rid of a lot of the Maybelline color tattoos. I just, last time I decluttered these, I said if I don't use them, I am going to just go ahead and declutter them. I have not used them since that last declutter video. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all of these Maybelline color tattoos. I'm sure some of them have dried out. This one felt semi-dry, not like 100% dried out, but a little bit. The color's really pretty too, but I just don't grab for these anymore. So let me just, let me just make sure there's not one that I wanna be like, I need you. Ugh, I kinda like this one, but I'm just gonna be good. I'm just gonna be really good and get rid of them. And I actually have some that have never been opened before, like these. <laughs> And I think I had gotten rid of quite a few in my last declutter, but I don't think I got rid of them all because I don't have as many as I used to have and I thought I had more. So I guess I must have decluttered those already. All right, so I have one here from Sephora. It's the Ombre, no, the Velvet Eyeshadow in Subtle Gray. Oh, this one still feels really nice. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Nice cool tone shade. Oof, this one's a maybe. I can't decide on that one, so that one's a maybe. I have this one from Benefit. Do they even sell these anymore? This is so old. It's birthday suit, and sorry, I have lint on my fingernails. Um, do forgive my hands and nails. My hands are so dry. This still feels really soft and creamy. Oh my gosh, I need to pull that out. Such a pretty color. But you know what? I think I'm just gonna get rid of it, you guys, because I just don't use it. I haven't used it since my last declutter, so why should I keep it, right? Okay, this is a MAC Paint Pot Soft Ochre. I actually don't like this. It looks super dried out anyways. Um, I always just found this to be too dry on my drier eyelids, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have two more here from MAC. Um, this one is Let Me Pop. I think it was a limited edition one. This one's much creamier, and it's like a coppery shade. Coppers are just not my color, I would say it's kind of a little rose gold, gold copper, but I'm gonna get rid of that. And I have a Stormy Pink, which I love this color so much. It's such a pretty color. Ugh. It's not even pink, it's more purple. It's like a mauvey purple, it's beautiful. And it does feel creamier than the soft ochre shade. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I really like that color. And I have this one here from Makeup Forever. It's the Aqua Cream. Do they even sell these anymore? It's surprisingly still very soft and creamy. Um, I don't know, this is a maybe too. This is a maybe. All right, I have another one here from e.l.f. This one is called Back to the Basics. It's really pretty. I think I'm gonna get rid of, I think I'm gonna get rid of the e.l.f. ones. So yeah, both, ah, I hit my elbow, my funny bone. Ow, oh my God, that hurt so bad. So I'm gonna get rid of both of these from e.l.f. I think they're really pretty, they're still creamy, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of them. And then I have this one from H&M. It's probably no longer available. It's the Shy Color Essence Eye Cream. Shy Violet is the shade. Still very soft. It's a very unique shade, but I don't think I'm gonna use it, so I'm going to get rid of that. Here's another one that I'm gonna get rid of. Who remembers these from Flower Beauty? I, they don't sell these anymore. These are the cream eyeshadows. And 
I'm just gonna get rid of all of these. I'm actually gonna toss them. They're super, super old, like super old. I used to love these. They were very creamy, easy to work with, um, but yeah. Yeah, they don't feel quite as creamy as they used to feel. Really pretty. I mean, it's still pigmented. Can you guys see that? But I think it's time to toss these out. Here is another e.l.f. smudge pot. This one is brownie points. It's a very coppery shade, which again, I'm not into coppers, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have these e.l.f. long lasting lustrous eyeshadows. I used to love these. These are really good. Um, I feel like they're getting definitely dried out. You can see that they're dry around the rim, like it's cracked around the rim and it's not as creamy as it used to be. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of all four of those just because they're old and I should probably just toss them. Here's another e.l.f. lustrous eyeshadow. It's like a gold shade, I'm gonna get rid of that. Then I have these two NYX eyeshadow bases. I used to love these. And I know my last declutter, I think I got rid of the white one because I had an, another white one and this one was a newer one. And I just don't use this ever. But I think I want to keep it because I do like a white base. I should go back to trying this and see if I want to really keep it. Maybe I'll like put it in my everyday makeup drawer. And then this one is in the shade ESB03 skin tone. This one is too dark, way too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. All right, so I have some single shadows here. Um, this one is the L'Oreal Crushed Foil Eyeshadow and the shade is 23 Diamond Dust. I think these are exclusive to Walmart, maybe. This is really pretty, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. And then I have this dose of colors eyeshadow that I meant to return. I was a little disappointed with it. I just didn't think it was worth the money. It actually arrived shattered and I was going to return it, like I said, but I just never got around to it. So I tried to press it back in there just cause it got to the point where it was too late to return it. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pretty, but I guess it looks prettier there than I remembered. Maybe a different shade I would like better. I mean, I like this shade, it's kind of like a rose gold, but I just didn't think it was worth the money, I guess. So, and mine's all broken, and so I'm gonna leave it in this box because I don't want it to get everywhere, but I am gonna keep that. Then I have another Wet n Wild Cream Brulee eyeshadow. I think in my last drawer I kept one like this. I am gonna keep this, it's just a nice brow bone shade. I remember though the older formula I thought I liked better, so. We'll see, I'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup drawer. I don't know the one that I had kept, if it was in the old packaging or not. I can't remember. And then I have this Inglot eyeshadow. It's called the Intense Sparkler. And it's a very unique color. I feel like it's definitely one you have to use or apply with your finger or wet. This is a little bit newer to my collection. Um, I remember using it and not loving it, but I need to play with it some more. So I'm gonna keep that for now. I think I just need to apply it wet or maybe over glitter glue or something. It's like a baked formula, so that could be it too. Oh, look at it. These are all cream shadows, no wonder. I remember I thought I got rid of maybe my Maybelline color tattoos, my last declutter, but here they are, they were hidden under some powder shadows. So I need to go through those. I'm gonna just pretty much get rid of them, I think. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. All right, so these um, ones that are left, these are actually the Revlon Color Stay Cream eyeshadows. Let's go ahead and check these out. Oh, these feel much smoother and softer. I'm gonna keep these. I did like these when I first got them, but I just never used them, but I do want to play with them a little bit. So um, this is number 710. I don't know the name, but it's number 710. So I'm gonna keep that. This one's a 745. 
I think I'm gonna get rid of this pink one. It just, it's not as intense and it just looks kind of dull, like it's not that metallic. So I'm gonna get rid of number 745, which is this pink one. This one is number 740. This one's like a purpley shade. Oof. Yeah, I wanna keep that. That looks really pretty. It's like a purpley, taupey silver color. I hope you guys can see. It's getting very hard for me to sit because I'm 30, almost 33 weeks pregnant. It's very hard for me to sit upright like in this position when I do these videos. I really need to just like lay back. My back hurts. Um, this is number 730. Don't mind my chipped nail. I need to do my nails. Just feel like I haven't had time since I've been pregnant. So that one is very pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. You know what, let me start swatching them over here. It'll probably be more helpful, I'm so sorry. So the last one here is 735, it's like a green. Ooh, that looks really pretty too. You know, Revlon has a lot of misses in makeup for me. I just don't think the quality of their stuff is that great. But I did like some of these, so I am gonna keep that one. I have some Kiko Milano eyeshadows right here um, that I wanna go through. I think I'm gonna keep all of these. So this one's number six, it's a wet and dry eyeshadow. I don't even think I've used this actually. These are very soft. Um, in my last video, I got rid of one of these, but I think I'm gonna keep this one. I really like this shade. So this is like a really nice crease color. Works great for like my kind of skin tone. So yeah, number six. This one is number 46, which is really pretty. I've used this one before. They're just so soft and they blend really nicely in the crease. So these two paired really well together, like this in the crease and that one to deepen it up just a little bit. I believe you can pop these out of the pan. So this one is number 43. Kind of like an orangey peachy shade but not too intense. I mean, it's pigmented, but it's not like too orange for me. So I'm gonna keep all three of those. All right, so I'm gonna go through these Morphe pressed pigments. I don't even know if they sell these anymore, to be honest with you. I did a review on these. If you wanna see it, I will link it above, but I don't know if they sell these anymore. And I do have some Morphe, I do have some more Morphe single shadows in a palette somewhere. Um, that might be for another video though, because I don't know where that is, I have to look for it. But I'm just gonna go through these like single shadows. So this one is Kill the Lights. And it's a very coppery shade, which I just don't love on me. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Socially Broken. That's really pretty. You see how intense these are? These are super intense. I haven't worn them for a long time though. That's a maybe. I'm gonna get rid of this one for sure. This one is just very powdery compared to some of the others. And this one is Champagne Lights. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna try to keep colors that I know that I would wear more frequently. So this one I'm gonna get rid of and it is Gossip Girl. I don't reach for these like really reddish shades very much. Ooh, I like that one. That one's really pretty. So that one is Hollywood Vixen. I'm gonna keep that. This one's a little bit powdery as well. But it's such a like pretty color. If I apply that wet, it would be so beautiful. I'm gonna keep this one, Mimosa Sunday. Here's another very coppery shade. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's Rodeo, Rodeo Drive. It's a very coppery shade. A lot of the shades are kind of similar. Like this one is a little bit more bronze. Ooh, that's really pretty though. Do you see that? Right there. That's a maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's just a little bit too like yellowy golden copper for me. And this one's in the shade High Class. This one is Make a Statement. It's very, very gritty, but keep in mind it is a pressed pigment. 
I did apply that over my wet arm. I think I'm going to get rid of that. It's just, it's really dark. It's a beautiful green though, but I'm going to get rid of that. This is Celebrity Affair. Ooh. It's pretty, but I'm going to get rid of it. It is very pretty though. This is so chic and polish. Oh, that one's a maybe. That one's really pretty. I do like that shade right there. It's kind of bronzy. Um, that one is called Afterglow. I'm gonna keep that. This one was broken and I tried to repair it. It is called the Powder Room. It's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This green one's really cool. It is room service. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. It's a really cool green. That would look really pretty over that green cream shadow from Revlon, I think. And this one is Conceited. I'm gonna keep Conceited. I'm gonna get rid of this one, it's very dark. It's a dark brown, it's like a chocolatey brown, which I do like, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. And that one is a Bad Romance. So I have these two left, let's see. Coffee and Drama, that is pretty. And Dress to Impress, which is more of like an olivey, golden green. Well, it's more like a, I would say like a, it's almost like a bronze, but it has some gold green hints to it. I'll keep that one. All right, so let me go back through these three. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, Socially Broken. And I will keep this one, which is So Chic and Polish. It's a little bit lighter. And this one is On the Rocks. Um, that is really pretty too. It's a little, leans a little copper, but not too orangey for me, which are the coppers that I don't usually like on me. So I'll keep that one for now. Guys, so I got rid of quite a few things in this drawer. Um, I pretty much almost kept just eyeshadows that fit in this little section right here, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so just one doesn't fit in there. I'm actually gonna move these shadows up a couple drawers higher from the drawer that I decluttered previously. That way all these shadows will fit in that drawer and I can actually free up a drawer. Once I go through these um, palettes, I will free up this drawer and I will have more space from some uh, newer stuff that I have like in a little sh um, cart. So yes, um, if you guys wanna see me like reorganize, let's go ahead and move them up. So this is the drawer that I decluttered last time. I got rid of quite a few things as well. Oh, see, yeah, here's the Wet n Wild eyeshadow that I talked about keeping last time. This is the old one. I think the old formula was better. I don't know, maybe it's not. I'll have to compare them, but from what I remember, I thought that the older packaging formula was better than the new one. But I am gonna keep both of those for now. Go ahead and move all these little guys on up. Like I need to put these over here so that they fit. keep both of these cream shadows right here, the one by Makeup Forever and the one from Sephora. I'm gonna keep both of those for now. So I have this empty box here. I just wanted to count up how many I'm getting rid of. Forty 
28 eyeshadows from this drawer decluttered. So very happy with the progress, making room in my drawers, which I'm happy about. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.